Did you know that from the world's largest telescope that can be the most complex machine ever built, there are some incredible mega projects underway. Today, we're delving into the most advanced mega projects ever seen. Are you excited to step into the future? Extremely Large Telescope Our journey begins with the ELT, which stands for Extremely Large Telescope. It's not the most creative name, but it's very accurate. Right now, this project is halfway done and won't be ready until 2027. But one thing is clear, it's going to be big. Telescopes work by using mirrors to gather light from faraway things. The bigger the mirror, the more light it can collect, and the farther it can see. And the ELT is taking this to a whole new level. The main mirror of the ELT will be 39 meters across and weigh about 132 tons. That's four times bigger than any telescope mirror ever made. And that's just one of its mirrors. There will be five in total, working together to collect more light than 15 10-meter telescopes combined. These mirrors will be super precise, with one of them able to bend its shape. They'll be able to focus on objects with incredible accuracy, adjusting by tiny amounts, thousands of times thinner than a human hair. The ELT will be in a dome that can open and close like an eyelid, protecting it from bad weather. But it's unlikely to have many problems. The telescope is being built in a desert mountain in northern Chile, where the sky is almost always clear and there's hardly any light pollution. The ELT will be used to study galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, giving us better answers about the age of the universe. It will also search for planets outside our solar system, taking detailed photos to see if any could support life. When the ELT is ready in 2027, it could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. It might even be the first to find signs of life on planets around other stars. But space isn't the only place where we're pushing the boundaries of technology. Next, we'll explore more groundbreaking projects. Ocean Cleanup Now let's talk about something happening in the ocean called System 03 by the Ocean Cleanup. In the past, the ocean used to be clean and beautiful. But in the last hundred years or so, millions of tons of plastic trash have ended up in the water. One big example of this is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a huge area of floating garbage in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This garbage patch is enormous. A study in 2018 found that it covers an area of 1.6 million square kilometers, which is three times bigger than France, and it's not getting any smaller. The study estimated that it's getting 10 times bigger every decade. But maybe things are going to change. The Ocean Cleanup is a group from the Netherlands that's trying to figure out how to clean up the garbage patch. In 2018, they made a project called System 001. System 001 was a big U-shaped barrier that floated on the water with a skirt hanging down below the surface. The idea was that as it moved with the ocean currents, it would catch floating plastic and collect it in a retention zone, a sort of big sack that a ship would come and empty. System 001 showed promise, but there was a problem. The ocean currents weren't strong enough to move it effectively. So in 2021, they made a new version called System 002 that could be pulled by ships. This one was a lot bigger and more successful. Then in 2023, they made an even better version called System 03. It's much bigger than the others minus 2.2 kilometers long, which is almost three times longer than System 002 it can hold five times more plastic. With this new version, they're hoping to clean up even more trash from the ocean and make the process more efficient by using AI to find where the plastic is thickest. With these improvements, they're hoping to build a whole fleet of these systems to clean up the entire Great Pacific garbage patch. Now let's head back to land and talk about a big project powered by 5G. Huawei's European Supply Center, Let's talk about the Huawei European Supply Center in northern Hungary. If you're not familiar, 5G is a super fast way to connect to the internet. It's way faster than 4G, which most of us are used to. With 5G, you can download a whole movie in less than a minute. But it's not just about speed. 5G can also connect lots of devices at once, like phones, computers, cars, and even fridges and robots. This opens up a whole world of possibilities for new technology. Huawei is at the forefront of this new tech. They're known for making phones and computers, but they're also experts in information technology and network connectivity. After bringing 5G to China, they're now doing the same in Europe. Their European Supply Center is their first private 5G network in Europe. 
located near Budapest, Hungary, it's in a great spot to reach important countries like Germany, Italy, and France. Even countries like Iceland are easy to get to. Thanks to fast shipping, Huawei can deliver technology from Hungary to Iceland in just a few days. Inside the factory, they're using 5G to make things run smoother. They have these cool robot vehicles called AGVs that can move things around without needing a human to control them. This makes the center more efficient, and the workers can focus on more important tasks. These robots are constantly talking to each other through the 5G network, making sure they don't bump into each other. This has made the supply center 30% more efficient. This kind of technology is starting to pop up all over Europe, and it's often called the Industrial Revolution 4.0. Huawei's European Supply Center is leading the way in this exciting new field. Let's talk about another huge project, the Badla Solar Park. As our world gets more advanced, we need more energy. But since fossil fuels are running out and causing problems like pollution, many countries are looking for cleaner options. India is one of them. Since 2015, India has been building a massive solar park in the Thar Desert, which is in the northern part of the country. This desert has really clear skies, making it perfect for solar panels. The park is so big, it's like a small town. There are 10 million solar panels in total, covering an area of 56 square kilometers. That's about a third of the size of Washington, D.C., and all that solar power can provide electricity for more than 4 million Indian homes. Badla is officially the biggest solar park ever built. What's cool about Badla is that it's using robots to keep the solar panels clean. The Thar Desert doesn't have many clouds, but it does get sandstorms sometimes. Instead of having people clean the panels, they have 2,000 robots doing the job. NASA's Lunar Gateway In 1969, NASA did something amazing. They sent a person to the moon. It was a big deal, and it cost about $25 billion. Now, more than 50 years later, they're working on an even bigger project, going back to the moon and setting up a space station called Lunar Gateway. A space station is like a high-tech home in space for astronauts. It's used for science experiments, testing how things work in zero gravity, and taking pictures of space. You might have heard of the International Space Station, ISS, which orbits the Earth. It's really big, about 100 meters long and 70 meters wide, and it goes around the Earth about 15 times a day. Building the ISS was a huge job. It weighs more than 400 tons, so it couldn't be launched all at once. Astronauts had to send it up piece by piece and then put it together in space. It took about 10 years and over 30 missions to finish. Now, NASA wants to build a space station near the moon. They plan to send the first two parts up in 2025 using a big rocket called Falcon Heavy. These parts will have thrusters to control the station and rooms for astronauts to live in. They'll reach the moon in about three days and then go into orbit around it. Over the next few years, more parts will be sent up from Earth, and astronauts will start putting them together. The whole station should be finished by 2031. Once it's done, astronauts will use it to study the moon up close. They can stay there for months at a time and use it as a base for exploring the moon's surface. The Lunar Gateway will also have labs where astronauts can study samples they bring back from the moon. What are your thoughts on these big projects? Which one are you most excited about? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this longer video, make sure to subscribe to Supreme Projects for more. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.